A uh, question for both of you guys. Um, are you guys happy that you're getting to fight now in Bellator? Because I know you, there was a time in Invicta where you were very close to fighting. So is this perfect timing? I think so. I think you know we do real one for five pounding, and I'm really happy. Can fight my division, and that's it. And for Chris, uh, you know Bellator's been doing a lot of cross promoting with Ryzen lately. Is that something you'd be interested in, maybe being a part of going to Japan and fighting somebody? No, first thing my focus is my next fight for Julia Bud, and if you have the opportunity, for sure they're going to be a welcome. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Monte Wong from My MMA News. This question is for uh, Chris Cyborg. Um, how do you feel the transition is going to be to Bellator as opposed to your time in the UFC? You know, I'm really happy. I worked with Scott before, you know, at Strike Force. We have a fun together, like uh, we did the history together. And, you know, I think if fighting Bellator sign with them, they really appreciate work with me and then having my full division. And I just really feel very blessed to be here and then get a great opportunity for me. Josh. Um, Chris, what options were presented to you? Was this the only fight that they, Bellator came to you with, or what, what other options did they say? You know, I never choose my opponent. I just wait to keep training. But I know I have the whole my division here. I know I have to wait nine months for training. And they ask me if uh, for fight Julia Bud. You know, Julia Bud before she challenged me to online and she said you'd like to fight me. And they just figured out they're gonna fight January. So no boxing talk, it was mixed martial arts. Yes, just mixed martial arts for now. Ju Julia, for you to have this chance now to fight Chris, someone obviously you've wanted to fight, you've talked a lot about it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like people are going to look at you as the champion coming in, or is there an element to sort of a challenge or a stake for you? Um, well, I'm the four-time Bellator world champion, so I think they should definitely look at me as the champion coming in. Um, but obviously, I think that um, this is the fight that, um, going back to her being offered other fights, I think that this fight was the one that made the most sense. And I said that back after my fight in July that um, I thought this fight should happen first. I didn't think that she should have to fight anybody in the division before we fight each other. Julia, back here. Um, straight in front of you. Yeah, so obviously sometimes unfair, but one of the biggest criticisms, well, yes, you're in Bellator, but you've never fought the girl in UFC, Chris Cyborg, and all the history. Can you talk about personally what it's like to have the opportunity to finally be like, hey, now that she's finally here, I finally get to show you guys what I'm made of? Yeah. It definitely feels like that, and um, I mean, I think we've both known of each other for the last 10 years that I've been in MMA. We've known of each other because we're the two best girls at 145, and um, but yeah, this is like a uh, dream fight for me. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, ladies. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Good night. Thank you.